Welcome to our community. I'm sure you're excited about getting started with this next step in your life, whether you're fresh out of high school or coming back to school after time has passed. What is great about our college is that we have students of every age and walk of life from all over the world. Which really makes things interesting. It gives you a chance to meet new people, connect with friends, and really participate as an active member of our community. We also have a whole crew of caring faculty and staff that want you to succeed and reach your goals. Everyone here has a role in your success, especially you. There are all kinds of resources that can help you every step of the way. But it's up to you to take advantage of them. For example, there are all kinds of great departments on all of our campuses that can help you navigate this new world and keep you on track to earn the best possible grades and reach your goals. Depending on your situation, we have someone that can help or get you the help that you need. The catch is you need to know when you need help and then you have to ask for it. When you are ready, we are here to do what we can for you. When you just get started, you really want to work closely and build a relationship with the academic advisors. Advisors help you to lay out an educational plan so that you know what to take and when to take it. So that when you complete your program with the right courses and on your time frame. Contrary to popular belief, not every student is full-time. Some need to go part-time because of work, family, or finances. Advisors can help you make the best personal choices so that you can perform at your best. Having the self-awareness of how much you can handle and still be successful is important to reaching your goals. The advisors are your advocates. They can help you when you don't know where to turn for help, and they can help you feel more confident that you are on the right track when you consult with them. Get the right information and take their advice. Career services can help you find out more about that profession that you're interested in, and they can help you find on and off campus employment. When you're ready, they can help you prepare a resume, practice job interviews, and more. What is great is that these resources are available to alumni too, so this is a lifelong service. The Learning Commons is a team that provides you with a variety of academic support. Library Services has the traditional library locations on Daytona and Deland campuses. However, the website is accessible to any student with internet access and a student login 24-7. The staff is waiting to help you with everything from finding sources for a research paper, to suggesting books on something you want to learn about, and they're available a lot. Remember, you aren't only a student, you have outside interests too. The Academic Support Center can help you when you're feeling helpless and lost with computers. They have workshops on how to use college sites like My Daytona State or our online course software, Falcon Online, and even tools like Microsoft, PowerPoint, and Excel. They will patiently walk you through using the software if you can't make a workshop. The Academic Support Center also provides tutoring and additional instructional assistance as well. They are a must-see service. The Writing Center is there to help you when you have writer's block. You know, when you can't even come up with an idea to write about or need help once you have started. Their staff can also help you with creating and practicing presentations, which so many courses require now. Getting help with these skills won't only make you a better student, but they will make you a better employee in the future. Sometimes you need services that are really specific to you and your situation. Let's say you are trying to find all of the options to get financial help for school. We have the financial aid, scholarships, veteran services, the Women's and Men's Center, and TRIO programs which all offer some kind of monetary assistance if you meet the eligibility requirements. They always say you can't win the lottery if you don't buy a ticket. Well, you will never know if you qualify for this help if you don't apply. Our counseling and student disability services can help with a number of different situations. 
Sometimes you need someone to talk to about personal situations that are affecting your academics. Counseling can help you figure out options and it can even refer you to community resources that might help you in your situation. They can even help when you just don't know how to manage those personal emotions that interfere with you reaching your goals. Student Disability Services assist our students who have documented disabilities with adaptive equipment and identifying appropriate course accommodations. We've shared a lot about services that can help you be successful, but we want you to also feel like a part of our community. That means getting connected and involved. We know people have all kinds of interests and schedules, so you can really pick and choose how engaged you want to be. They have done studies for years and consistently they say things like, students who are actively involved in both academic and out of classroom activities gain more from the college experience than those who are not so involved. And the more students are involved in the social and intellectual life of a college, the more frequently they make contact with faculty and other students about learning issues, especially outside of the class. So what can you do to be involved? You don't have to be a member of student government or an athlete, but you could be. Being an active member of the college community really just means participating. Being a commuter campus, many students may just come to class and then leave. But you can take advantage of even the most basic things to feel like part of the college. Visit our snack bars and cafeteria before or between classes. You might run into students from your other courses or your instructors. Hang out in one of our study areas when you have the time. We have all different kinds of environments to help you feel comfortable and to give you access to Wi-Fi and to plug in. But getting involved doesn't only mean joining one of our many student clubs, attending one of our campus events, a play, a concert at the News Journal Center, or basketball, baseball, or volleyball games. It also includes visiting your instructors and all those resources we highlighted when you're experiencing problems or just to ask questions. Build those relationships to make that connection with the college and the people here. Even for the online student, we have a virtual community that every student is a part of and should take advantage of as well. Our virtual students participate in online discussions and projects, can access our services remotely, and can even work with some instructors during virtual office hours. Online learners are just as much of a part of the college as campus students and can access and engage in most of those elements detailed here. Hopefully this has helped you to see that you matter and that you belong. We want you to be an active member of our community and we just want to say welcome.